are you online now okay hello everyone uh, my name is gorav singh uh, i am ceo of weekend educational organization and delve gaps uh just to give a brief introduction of who i am and what we do uh i have a masters degree in engineering i did my engineering with vasanada patel college and then went on to uh, with my uh, went on with my post graduate uh, again into engineering uh, uh the core area of interest has always been uh, embedded systems uh, and wi wireless embedded systems let's put it this way. uh I started my first company, which is a weekend educational organization, back in 2016. Right after I finished my uh, bachelor's, the main idea was to bridge the gap between the industry and academia, because we all keep complaining that engineering ka syllabus is not up to the mark when we talk about the uh, uh, industrial requirements and the projects that we are doing are way below. in quality as to what is expected in industry so the main idea was to have some skill development programs first and then maybe we can if, if the students are good we take them to the companies they do some uh, uh, on job training programs or internships and maybe if their performance is good they are consumed in that company after their engineering so that was the sole idea that is how we began uh later on i joined uh, hands with another company called delve gaps delve gaps is a technical product development company so their main uh, uh thing is coordinating with the companies understanding their requirements and then delivering products products can be both software services applications and web development and also hardware products which involve electronics mechanics uh, mechanical uh, branch and then a bit of electrical as well so all these things combined a pure product developing company weekend education is a pure training company and now both are a single unit so we develop technologies first for industries and then we dumb it down to a level where we go and talk to the students in colleges try to make them understand what are the industrial requirements and then develop a, a or create a ecosystem where students can first learn the basics and then move on to the industry graduate you know uh, in, in a very uh, sequential manner so that is what we do that is what i have been doing in the past 4 5 years now let's talk about today's topic of discussion topic of discussion is industrial revolution post covid era now covid is something you know you know it, it's a it's a world war right now you know all the countries joining hands together against one single enemy there are some people who keep china out of it but then yes they have also suffered in one way in in more than one way so uh, uh let's say that the entire world is united for one invisible enemy now it has affected us in a lot of ways now for somebody like me who travels at least to four different cities every month there's at least one program that is happening for every week for which i have to move out for somebody like me in the last 70 75 days i have not gone out anywhere actually the entire march april may so it's roughly 90 days now and we have not moved out uh been in the city been at home at most times and that is true for almost all uh, professionals working professionals the situation is worse for those who need to be on you know who need to be on the floor who need to go to their workplaces who need to work which i'm talking about the lower middle class lower middle section because we as uh, uh, educated uh, people who can work from home the new term that has been coined previously it was called remotely working and remotely remotely actively working and now it has been uh, converted into work from home so this is a slightly new term for us but uh, in the foreign countries this term has already been existing so we have adapted that and now we are somewhat you know we are still surviving okay we are not sinking the issue is with the lower middle class uh, uh, earning people you know i'm talking about a lot of small businesses i'm talking about laborers i'm talking about a lot of other things a uh, lot of other sections of society who are really struggling what i want to discuss today is how do we tackle all these things you know 
now that we are we are almost midway if not more in the covid war and we hope that from tomorrow onwards when the lockdown is be- being relaxed in a lot of areas at least in the green orange or yellow zones uh we are hoping that maybe in a month or maybe in two months 60 days from now 8 to 10 weeks from now we'll be in a better position to say that yes we are uh, yes we are winning the war or we are you know still fighting it we need to understand one thing with the kind of problems that are surrounding us right now also comes lot of opportunities opportunities to work now i'll give you a small slight example there are lot of auto drivers that i know jinke sath hum log travel karte hain daily basis pe i know them because my my work schedule is you know timed in such a way that same auto wala mujhe roz milta hai now they have there are few auto walas jo ghar baithe hain jo kuch nahi kar but there are other auto rickshaw drivers who have now you know moved away from driving autos to now selling some food essential products you know some fmcg as we call them some products so koi you know they are selling potato and onions you know coordinating with somebody at nashik getting a truck load of these things and then selling it kuch na kuch innovate innovate nahi bolna chahiye kuch na kuch uh, uh, naya pan leke aa rahe hain in already existing technology in already existing infrastructure that they have i've seen people sell onions from their uh, auto rickshaws in my area so what i'm trying to say is people are trying to experiment so that they survive now which sections of the entire uh, business universe is going to be affected the most ha sabse kharab halat kin ki hone wali hai first aviation tourism industry aviation tourism or 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 any transportation based industry i will be very very uh, uh, scared to go to bangalore in today's scenario in a bus i'll prefer paying 10 times more and driving my own car than go in a ac sleeper bus which is which is supposed to be a very comfortable way of going theek hai wo bhi main prefer nahi karunga so those industries are going to take a hit there is going to be a very big hit on the movie exhibition exhibitor uh, 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 side because people might not go to th- might not go to theaters you all know that a lot of new movies aishman kurana's movie is coming directly on amazon prime so lot of them have moving to the ott platforms now since they are moving to the ott platforms the theater business might reduce the share of movie uh, uh, what do i say movie uh, income to theaters will slowly and gradually reduce ab is samay to zero hai kyunki koi nahi ja raha baad mein bhi people will be very 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 careful while going out so that is another uh, thing uh then there are amusement parks sl world or water kingdom jane se bhi hum darenge theek hai so these are some of the businesses that are going to take a hit now let's not name the business but understand the sectors amusement sectors chai wo amusement park ho ya theater ho or traveling or tourism these are the two major sections that are going to take a hit which sectors are going to remain neutral during and post covid era usme se ek hai it sector because work from home has now become a thing right so every it professional is given some task morning mein meeting hota hai evening mein meeting hota hai in the day time they have their uh, roles and responsibilities to fulfill so work from home has made sure that the indian it industry doesn't take a hit oil and gas sectors are also pretty much okay yes there are uh, very few people actually pe- buying petrol and things like that so वो एक चीज है बट आई थिंक आफ्टर कोविड पीपल स्टार्ट मूविंग आउट एंड इन डूइंग सो दिस इंडस्ट्री विल आल्सो गेन इट्स स्पेस सो दैट इज आल्सो नॉट गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स फ्यू नोट ओके या रियल स्टेट सो रियल स्टेट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज ऑन बोथ साइड्स आई टेल यू हाउ द हाउसिंग सेक्टर माइट नॉट सफर माइट नॉट सफर बट द ऑफिस रेंटिंग या ऑफिस सेलिंग पार्टनर्स ऑफ आई मीन दीज आई टी पार्क और ये वाले जो सेक्शन है दे विल है हार्ड टाइम एंड विल कम टू दैट बाय और मे बी लेट्स डिस्कस दैट इट्स बिकॉज द आई टी कंपनी टूडे हैव रिकग्नाइज कि अगर मेरा कैंडिडेट माई एम्प्लॉय इज वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम 
even in those scenarios our output is not going drastically down okay and slowly and gradually even the employee understands ki work from home kaise karna hai what i'm trying to say here is the companies because they have been the because they did not sink uh, in the work from home scenario will be very 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 careful in buying a new office space now what they'll say is agar mera employee ghar baithe baithe kaam kar raha hai why do i buy so uh, a big office space now let me give an example if i have 100 employees okay i will not buy an office for 100 employees i will buy an office maybe for 30 40 employees i will call my employees maybe once or twice a week for a weekly meeting target sheets jo jo bhi hai for for a, for a general discussion and for the other 4 to 5 days they can remain at home and work so i will cut down my expenses when i say i i mean the company will cut down its expenses so that over a period of time they can recover from whatever losses they faced during this uh, covid era and aage wo hi culture agar aa jata hai so their cost uh, of running a company will come down so i don't think it industry will take a hit so these are some sectors jo okay is chal rahe hain now the main thing jo hamara aaj ka main topic hai is which sectors will will see a boost which sectors will actually grow by many folds in the coming year or two which will then pave a way to invest or to work in that sector for the entire decade first is a very obvious one which is the pharma industry pharma not just drugs and pharma i what i'll also include in that is the surgical uh, instrumentation companies chai up uh, you know you're making the gloves you're making some biomedical product you are going to you know biomedical engineering which was dead and buried for the entire last decade now those engineers will now have some importance i'm not saying it will be a huge boost but some importance in the next 6 to 8 months so that is one telecom industry is also doing very well because people have now started consuming data on a very 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 large scale okay for somebody like me uh, i own so or, or for anyone we have one or two sim cards in our phone okay aur kisi ek me hi active and internet pack hota hai generally i'm talking about most of the all now somebody like me who doesn't have a, a a stable wifi at home the house that i'm living right now with my family i have uh you know taken internet packs on both the sim cards that i have so that i can consume more data and since i'm consuming more data the telecom sector is obviously going to gain out of that and it's not just me i think it's going to be a story for a lot of us so uh, telecom sector is going to remain neutral or is going to go positive from here one sector which is going to see a very big boom is the food processing sector food processing why do i say food processing and not just food delivery it's it's please understand this when so sharukh khan comes to our tv and says ki grofer se saman khareed but how many of us really buy tomatoes from grofers we have our uh, you know we 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 buy it from the local vendor right chahe hum jaye chahe hamare parents jaye chahe if we have a house help he or she will go out and take it from a local vendor do ya teen din ka hum stock lete hain and then as and when it gets over we go out again and buy it. or maybe some people take it for a week so sunday to sunday or saturday jo bhi hai now since we are very uh, you know we think 10 times before we go out uh, in the covid era i think after the covid era as well we will think at least twice before we go out and and we take something from somebody else's hand from somebody else's physical presence because of this covid so i think the public hygiene and uh, uh uh public hygiene sector is is or public hygiene in general uh, is going to change people psyche i mean there's going to be a big change in the people psyche right now so a lot of us will now start ordering will not will not listen to shahrukh khan and will order our food from these online stores and you all know ki agar wo online store karke humko bhej rahe hain there is obviously going to be some way or the other it, uh, using which they are going to process the food so that kharab na ho raste theek hai it 
अगर उसका शेल्फ लाइफ इज थ्री डेज इट इज पुश टू फाइव टू सिक्स डेज एक्सक्यूज इट्स गोइंग टू बी पुश टू फाइव टू सिक्स डेज इन ऑर्डर टू एंश्योर दैट इट इट लास्ट टिल द टाइम इट रीचेज द एंड कंज्यूम ओके सो फूड प्रोसेसिंग इज गोइंग टू बी अ बिग बिग सेक्टर नाउ नाउ वंस यू हैव डिस्कस दीज पॉइंट्स नाउ I said industrial revolution. Now, when I say revolution, we are we might not come up with new tech. We might not come up with new uh, uh, verticals in the business, but we are going to have new techniques in the existing business. One is the online delivery business. Whether it's FMCG के लिए हो, चाहे किसी भी चीज के लिए हो. The person who brings these things to your house. ओके द लोकल वेंडर जो एक बंदा आता है बाइक पे बैठ के हमारे यहाँ डिलीवर करने दो पीपल आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड विथ शील्ड्स एंड एंड पीपी किट्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो दैट ही इज सेक्योर एंड ओनली वेन ही इज सेक्योर द प्रोडक्ट दैट ही इज डिलीवरिंग एट आर प्लेस इज गोइंग टू बी सेक्योर एंड वी यूजिंग इट विल ऑल्सो फील सेफ सो दिस इज वन मोर सेक्टर विच आई थिंक वी शुड कीप आर Eyes on, and we can actually work towards. It. Okay, provide so self protection. Okay, individuals protection while they are moving or while they are uh, commuting, uh, not commuting, while they are commuting from one place to another. Local uh, local uh, transport. So maybe I stay in one corner of Bombay. If I am going to another corner, or from my home to college, from my home to my workplace, I feel feel. more secure if i'm wearing some protective unit over my clothes so i think that is one sector that we really need to look at we are not disrupting the existing model we are just adding something to it so that is one point that we need to you know uh, uh, keep in mind uh yes talking about agriculture the agriculture is one sector which is Uh, a very very neutral sector i don't think that there is going to be a lot of changes in the agricultural sector but what i really think is people the farmers will now start more of cash crops than the uh, uh, food grains now why do i say this what i observe is uh, talking to a few people who have their farms and unka khud ka produce hota hai what about what, what they say is now these cash crops give you a better uh, they are they are give you a better yield in terms of money i'm talking about so it's it's it gives you more money per square meter of area per square kilometer of area the money that you produce that a farmer produces is more and uh, the second factor is most of the cash crops are less dependent on monsoon not or, or i should say we Uh, uh yeah less dependent on monsoon or not entirely dependent on monsoon so even if there is less rain and there is less water supply you will still have products might not be of the uh, top notch quality but you can still have products that do well that can be sold so i think that is another sector that will uh, and all and all, already we have gone dived into the food processing sector so processing is preceded by food storage good food storage and then processing and then delivered so total yield ya fir kisi farmer ke liye to produce agricultural crops continuously might not be a requirement so he might move into cash crops i'm just suggesting that and i i mean i'm just guessing that i am not an expert in that uh, field but jo maine baat kiya i'm just putting that in front of you for uh, a lot of people Uh, a lot of students actually have recently asked me in post covid era mein uh, are we going to see rise in the unemployment rise in the unemployment uh, because the companies might not do that well and they might want to reduce the burden so inst- and just give me just giving a vague example so instead of having one person who earns 1 lakh rupee per month i can have two people who earn 30000 a month okay and i can probably reach to the same level of work done and i am also saving some money on my end so 
will it lead to unemployment will it lead to job jobs taken away yes it will but will it lead to unemployment i don't think so i don't think it will lead to a lot of unemployment also jinka job ja raha hai if they have utilized the past 2 3 months for skill updation for skill upgradation so you already know this and you already know a particular skill and if you are building on it i think that is also going to uh, you know that will make sure that you don't lose a job so i think that will keep the unemployment rate or or the employment rate at a pretty stable rate so i don't see a lot of people losing their jobs or even if they are losing i think there are there's still going to be a lot of new jobs you might be underemployed but you will not be unemployed is what i feel okay now why do i why do i still call it an industrial revolution why do i call this lecture an industrial revolution is because of the next 10 minutes that i'm going to discuss understand one point and this is what i i am i'm saying not because i feel it because i've discussed with a lot of people with greater you know their experience is equal to my age okay what i'm trying to say to you right now is to everyone who's listening this is the best time to be an entrepreneur why do i say this because there are lot of issues with a lot of sectors that are existing today be it your healthcare sector be it your food delivery system or whatever all the e carts and delivery systems there are a lot of issues there there are a lot of issues in the warehouse there are lot of issues in the general uh, sanitizing of places public areas you know so it's going to open a few new doors and it is going to change the existing systems everything has some problems we <coughs> sorry this covid era has given us some time to introspect every existing sector and identifying the problems now imagine this i'll just give you a small example there was a time when uh the doctors in uh in our society asked for protection against violence against them so if by chance there something happens to the patient the family of the patient with some people would come and thrash the doctors or the hospital the high court then said that if the doctor said that we can't work in this environment the high court the bombay high court said that if you can't work you know if you are so scared you can leave the job and go and we will hire new doctor the situation today is i come from a family of doctors the situation today is the corporation is writing mails to each and every doctor requesting them to at least come and serve for two weeks we will give you salary for the entire month ab wo aapko aisa lag raha hai ki 15 din mein double salary mila aisa nahi hai because if you work for two weeks in a covid zone you you are required to be quarantined for the next so basically ek mahine tak aap apna clinic band rakho ya hospital band rakho work for us and will go and they are actually paying quite well shift in the attitude because of this calamity or because of this tough time so what i what i want to say is that this is the best time to be an entrepreneur identify a small little problem in any of the existing sectors and just attack attack it with your mind and the knowledge that you have one thing that i tell to all my students over the past 5 6 years is that do not limit your ideas by the technological knowledge you have today okay what i mean by this is you can you can make plans or you can make a business around something that you might not know how to solve but you at least understand the problem once you know there is a problem you will slowly and gradually reach to a point where you have enough knowledge of solving that problem. so identifying the problem is is the most important part <coughs> once you do that there are two words that you need to be very careful of when if you are starting a new business now a lot of people generally you interchange these words while they are speaking or while they are writing but they are two completely different words one is risk in a particular thing one is the other is uncertainty in the in a particular thing 
risk means I have n number of outputs for a particular situation and I know these outputs. It's like flipping a coin. Head I die or tail I. I know it. Okay? And in a long run, I know it's a 50-50% chance. As I was taking my team bar coin toss or tino bar head I. That doesn't mean tail I gang in income. But if I have 100 times, the chances are that it will be 40-60. So it evens out. The longer the sample size, the more are the chances of things, you know, having an evened out output. So risk, you must know. You must always do a risk analysis of all possible outcomes. Check what are the probabilities of each of the output and then work towards it. If there is more chance of failure, then which factors are leading to failure? Attack. The other word that I said is uncertainty. Uncertainty in a situation or in a condition leads to an output which is not pre-known. So if an output is not pre-known or in a situation, you know, rise ho gaya hai, or a completely out of the blue, okay, then that will hamper or that will have negative effect on your uh, expected output. And you will not be prepared for it. So in an ideal situation, you, you will always have risks in the problem that you are attacking and you should have minimum, if not zero uncertainties. I'll just give you two small examples. <coughs> to understand risks, a survey that I read a few days back said that uh, one out, so in so, a few days ago, you know that Pakistan has a plane crash, right? So, I was just reading how many people average, on average, every year, or yeah, in how many, in how many thousand, in, in a thousand, how many people die traveling through plane. The number that I got is one. So, there are a couple of surveys. One says, one in every 1.6 crore people, 1.6 crore people die. The other survey says, one in every 3 crore people die. So even if I take the lower, tabhi lower, if I say one in every crore die, you will say that chances of dying are very less. But a risk factor to fir bhi hai. Correct? Small mistake in maintenance and it led to roughly 100 people dying in Pakistan a couple of weeks ago. I think last week. Last. So what I'm trying to say is understand you can't have a situation where you don't have risk at all. Okay? You prepare yourself for the risk. Also think of possible uncertainties. Suppose from Bandra, I am driving my car and I am going to Kolaba. The, and the out, I am expected to reach in maybe say Vana. Just an example. What are the chances, what are the odds of me reaching within Vana? What are the odds reaching after Vana? Because that is how you do your risk profile. But what if midway my tire puncture ho? What if midway there is some breakdown in the car? Okay, what if what if, what if midway I get a call from my friends or family and there is some emergency and I am not going to pull up, I take a U-turn and I go to some other place. Now those are uncertainties. When you are creating your business plan, risk profiling is important, but you must also have you must also have a plan, at least some plan for your uncertain situations. There's a reason why we call them uncertain situations because they are not certain. They might not happen in the entire lifetime of the business. But, kabhi na kabhi kisi na kisi na face fear. So, please understand and attack uh, the uncertainties as well. Don't, don't just jump the gun ki ye to ho hi nahi sa. Okay? Uh, for all the engineers uh, or for all the students who are uh, uh, listening to this, you all would have faced a, pro, a, a, a possible situation where you make a project, okay, mostly in a, I'm talking about from the engineering point of view, we make a project, okay, I made a project which was pulse detector and heart and Yevo and wirelessly sending it to, to some hub station, to some machine, to some laptop and wahan pe wo data plot ho raha hai, and that was a biomedical project that we did. I did that in 2011-12. Even today when I go to college for project, uh, uh, you know, for evaluation, I still see people doing similar problems. So, okay, let's not go, let's not digress. So, while, when you're doing these projects, uh, you need to keep two things in mind. Okay? While you are 
अटैकिंग एनी ऑफ दी प्रॉब्लम देर आर एटलीस्ट वन परसेंट चांस कि जब वो फाइनल डे दिखाना होगा ना उसी दिन वो प्रोजेक्ट नहीं चलेगा जब उसको बेस्ट देना है वो उसी दिन नहीं चलेगा ओके एंड दैट इज हैपेड विथ मी दैट्स एन अनसर्टेन सिचुएशन हाउ डू यू टैकल दैट हाउ डू यू टैकल दैट ऑलवेज वेन यू हैव अ प्रोजेक्ट रेडी मेक श्योर किसी फैकल्टी या किसी के प्रेजेंस में यू रिकॉर्ड अ वीडियो वर्किंग वीडियो बिफोर योर फाइनल डे ठीक है दैट इज वन वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग द प्रोजेक्ट uncertainty problem in the same way business may be if you are facing some always have a backup plan for uncertainties kuch na kuch hamesha galat hoga okay so keep this in mind i have stressed or i have you know, spoken a lot in the past 10 minutes about uncertainty because that is what nobody or uh, takes into account and then things go bad bad from bad to worse and you will not even realize that you are down and up okay so take these things in mind uh for everyone who's looking for a job for everyone who has just passed out or you are in the final year and looking for a job in the next year you know uh, uh all you need to focus your energy channelize or every second of your time of your skill development time on only one thing that is aids a i d s i'm not talking about the disease okay i'm talking about ai artificial intelligence ds data science okay if you are from it and uh, uh, computer science background or any other bachelor program which deals with computer science please it's my request understand python okay not just writing a for loop program and basics understand a project once a project and then a few a, a lot of projects with python put get some artificial intelligence algorithm to work using python and slowly and gradually create a base where you can say that you understand artificial intelligence once you understand artificial intelligence you can actually take in a huge amount of data draw inferences or conclusions out of it and then it becomes part of data set that is the only place where you are going to have tremendous requirements of jobs in the next decade okay the 2000s was a decade of mobile phone matlab agar aap mobile phone bana sakte ho okay you are good to go the 2010s 10 to 20 was a decade of using internet okay that is applications web applications or mobile phone applications and then doing something with it Now today is the day. The next ten years are going to be those years where you have mobile phones, you have internet, you have acquired data. Now take that data, draw inferences out of it, so that you can make intelligent machines. Not just machines, intelligent machines. Okay. So understand data science and AI well. Okay. So one thing. Uh, coming back to the entrepreneurship side, there is one area where you can really attack. and i use the word attack and not try the area where you can attack is the hygiene sector both personal hygiene and community hygiene in the past one month we we all have seen lot of products okay door mats with sanitizers okay we have seen a lot of drones that spray sanitizers across the uh, society these are again a uh, very 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 simple ideas extremely simple ideas with a bit of use of technology you can actually make a viable product and the the best thing is since people are suffering from the covid depression or covid uh, uh you know the thing created the cloud of covid let me put it this way even a small ray of hope is absorbed or is received very well so if you can come up with a small project let me give you a small product let me give you an example okay uh, uh, the other day i saw a pen okay a pen which had a small spraying button on top jisme hardly 10 ml sanitizer so it's basically a pen from one end you you all remember that pencil right jisme hum we write if the tip is over we put it back uh, from the back side and a new tip comes from the bottom Okay, a similar structure, pen or upper sanitizer, and sanitizer can be refilled. 
ठीक है यू कैन कैरी दैट पेन इन पॉकेट यू गो टू अ बैंक आपका पेन किसी ने यूज कर लिया या फिर आपने किसी पेपर पे किसी से पेपर लेके लिखा है यू टेक दैट वंस द वर्क इज डन यू कैन स्प्रे अपने पेन को भी सैनिटाइज करो हाथ को भी करो पुट द पेन बैक इन द पॉकेट एंड यू कैन वर्क ब्रिलियंट आइडिया वेरी सिंपल मॉडिफिकेशन बट अ ब्रिलियंट आइडिया ठीक है कितना पेन एंड इट्स नॉट इवन एक्सपेंसिव ओके सो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ सच स्मॉल आइडिया ओके एंड क्रिएट सम कैंपेन अराउंड इट सम अवेयरनेस कैंपेन अराउंड इट ओके एंड देन अटैक दैट इज वॉट आई मीन बाय रेवल्यूशन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रप्ट एनी एग्जिस्टिंग सेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू गिव अ न्यू ट्विस्ट टू द एग्जिस्टिंग सेक्ट दिस इज अ पेन ओके just a small bit of sanitizer and a completely new product is formed so think of such ideas think of such small ideas okay that people will actually use okay gloves okay you won't believe that we have heavily invested in making ppe kits and giving it to the hospitals and uh, uh, clinics basically not to the hospitals basically to the clinics because uh, we feel ki har doctor ko requirement hai and every doctor in the society is important okay so we are supplying it to the dentist to a normal physician to other people who are running their uh, clinics small change yes are we making some money out of it yes and we are selling it at a very low price as compared to the other companies who are doing it full time so doctors are happy we are also making some money out of it so just by making small changes in the existing model existing structure of any sector any business sector you can actually carve out a way for yourself that said for any business to succeed because we are in the online era right now for any business to succeed we need one thing or for for in general for any business to succeed the only thing that proves whether the business is working or not is the sales of the product or sales so sales defines is is the end number basically agar sale hai ho raha hai product that means the product is doing brilliant okay but with sales uh, uh, with the uh, advent or uh, uh, not the advent with the uh, usage of with the increase in the usage of online sales for a new business to succeed what you need is you need to gain the trust of your customer you need to gain the trust of your client how do you gain it there are three things that you require one is credibility second is reliability and third is customer in intimacy by customer in so let's talk about one each of these points. by credibility i mean if you are making a product make sure you have you have a proper certification और लाइसेंस टू सेल दैट प्रोडक्ट ओके कल को चल के कोई और तुम्हारे ऊपर उंगली नहीं उठाना चाहिए दैट यू यू आर नॉट ऑथराइज्ड टू सेल दिस इवन इफ योर प्रोडक्ट इज गुड वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बाय बिकॉज़ यू डोंट हैव प्रॉपर सर्टिफिकेशंस यू डोंट हैव अ प्रॉपर स्टडी सपोर्टिंग योर प्रोडक्ट सो क्रेडिबिलिटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट सेकंड इज रिलायबिलिटी रिलायबिलिटी सो दैट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू मेक श्योर दैट योर प्रोडक्ट्स आर गुड यू Once you acquire these certifications, make sure you, the product that you make is of the optimum quality. I'm not saying the best quality, because if you are selling a car which is made of which is in two lakhs or maybe two lakhs, so nothing. Up to nano be mango only. So maybe if you are if you are, if you are buying a car which is of ten lakhs, and if you are comparing it to maybe a BMW which you buy in fifty lakhs, both are going to take you from point A to point B. But the kind of service that they provide is completely different. So what I'm trying to say here is optimize. the cost and quality factor theek hai in a particular cost bracket make sure you give the best out best possible outcome the third term is customer intimacy so customer intimacy means once you sell a product don't forget your customer constantly stay in touch take feedbacks talk to your customers do surveys so that you get to know time to time if your product is selling selling well or not is being received well or not okay so and when i say customer intimacy i am not only uh, trying to tell you ki end customer se baat karo you can talk to your middlemen okay you can talk to your retailers if if you if you are selling products at 
in shops you should actually go and talk to them so that they also give you some feedback so you have the entire chain of people with whom you are working with whom your product is reaching to the end customer take everyone's feedback so that over a period of time you can also gradually improve both in cost profiling in risk profiling in managing the uncertainties and also understanding the psyche of your customer okay so three important points credibility reliability and customer intimacy make sure you are constantly uh, you know checking these three parameters for any business that you are attacking now uh, i had so another thing if if you are an engineer uh iot is a sector that you really need to look into and drones these are the two sectors for hardware related branches which is electronics and uh, electronics telecommunication instrumentation uh, uh electrical okay so if i'm forgetting something all these branches uh are going to see a lot of boost both in jobs and in business requirements for iot applications and the second one that i said was drones so four sectors that we have named for majorly for the engineering uh, section one for the uh, computer science and it students we said the aids factor which is artificial intelligence and data science for the hardware related branches it is iot and uh, drones drones no just just to add because i've been teaching a lot on drones in the past two years nobody really knows ki drone ka end application ya drone ka jackpot application kaun sa ya we are a country which is still very new to drones uh what i would rather tell you is think of any application and see if you can get it done by a drone if yes then pursue that because over a period of time everything is going to you know gradually become automated okay we are going to become more and more lazy and which will basically mean that we are uh, going to use drones okay or iot and in dono ke background mein the coding part will require data scientists and it is going to require artificial intelligence so these are the four key branches that you should always keep in mind let me just go through the comment section let me see if what people are commenting okay so one point that i got here and i had also listed it was uh the banking sector so a lot of people who are not from engineering background who are from commerce background and they wanted to know ki okay, how banking sector is going to work so the banks big banks okay aaj ke date mein to koi bhi bank secure nahi bol sakte because in the past year or two we have seen a couple of uh, you know giants in the banking industry going down but uh what we have seen is uh a couple of uh uh bigger banks or couple of in fact all bigger banks are offering very good rate pay interest i mean very good interest rates for your loans so that even they can survive this tough phase where people are very very hesitant to take loans and and in the same manner on the interest side they have reduced the interest on your fds and all those things so not a very good time i would say not a very good time to be a banker but it's not a bad time as well for all the big banks it's okay they are going to swim through uh the small financing units might face some problem okay if you are a small investor into companies that are not doing well or uh, that are uh, sinking uh, then as an investor you are going to face a lot of problems the other point regarding that was uh is it a good time to invest in stocks or or where do we invest let, let let's generalize the statement where do we invest our savings uh if the banking system have dropped their interest to such a low level mutual funds are always a good place to invest but i will uh, uh, but I, uh, i mean it's it's doing well even now 
direct stocks do your research well is what i will say or have a good financial advisor because because the way uh, sensex has been behaving in the past couple of months you know you see a jump of 1000 on one day 1000 points and then the index drops by the same amount on the next day so uh, be slightly careful with that and the last point that i'll say is if you are investing gold is a good place to invest right mm-hmm. because there is a steady growth in the uh, uh, prices of gold yes it has there there have been couple of days jab wo kafi points se niche gir gaya tha but gold is still doing pretty okay so if you are looking for an investing uh, 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 option i think gold is a good option best option is to all the investors also or to all the small investors i'll say invest in small businesses that are te- one technology driven and that has a very good team if the core team is good if they know what if they know their thing they know what they're doing i think they are going to sail through uh with this i think i have i uh, know covered almost all the points so like i said if but any sector it's only going to pivot or it is only going to tweak uh, uh, the existing sector tweak it in a way that it becomes slightly unique there are faults or problems seen in these days for all the sectors identify those problems like i said this is the best time to be an entrepreneur identify that problem use your technology knowledge and solve it that's all i have to say thank you very much uh if in case you have any doubts or in case you need any more guidance on uh, a particular topic or you want to have a one to one interaction or you want me to be corrected on any of the topics uh my name is gorav singh you can find me on linkedin gorav singh you can you can type gorav singh pvpp which is our college padma bhushan vasanada patil pratesh trans college of engineering pvpp coe with gorav singh you will find me there or you can also find me on instagram my instagram id is the dot proud dot line proud line is gorav singh basically uska translation so the dot proud dot line you can find me on instagram you can find me on linkedin not on facebook whatsapp mein dunga nahi yahan pe so i think uh, this is pretty much what i had to say uh, or you can put all your queries in the comment section as well as, as and when i see the comments i will be replying to it uh thank you very much for joining us thank you very much to uh, vasanada patel college for organizing this session uh good for me to be connected to the college